What's up YouTube, Dennis here with the new logo animation tutorial. So this is what we're gonna be creating and this is how you do it. So let's get started. So first of all we want to create a new composition. I'm gonna call this one um, logo animation. Mm. I have this 1920 by 1080 um, 30 frames per second and I set the duration to 4 seconds. Hit OK. And now let's create a new solid. Hit the right mouse button. Choose solid. Um, yep, hit OK. And now let's go over to our text tool. Um, I'm gonna create some sort of logo here. Um, this is where you actually wanna put in your own logo. Um, I'm just typing in something here that will be our logo, um, Lorem IP, Lorem Ipsum. Um, I'm gonna put the text to like 257 pixels. Um, let's center this. All right, this looks good. Um, I'm using the Lato font here. Um, now I want I want some grayish color for this logo. So, yep, this looks all right. And I want to be I want the last two layers to be some to be red. Yes. Okay. I think this looks fine. And now we want to create a lens flare. Uh, let's get rid of our title lens here. We want to create a lens flare and for that we create another solid and I'm going to call this one optical flare. All right, hit OK and now go to your effects panel and go to look for a video copilot optical flares. So as you can see, we've got some nice optical flare here, but our logo is gone. And for that, we want to set the render mode from black to untransparent. So let's position this one somewhere down here and then go to options and a new window will open. And now we want to um, customize this optical flare a little and we want to turn off all these single layers except for the glow effect and let's select the second glow effect go to stretch and turn this up to like something like 400 and we want to put this one down to around 50 okay uh, let's change the color a little. I want to have some really cool blue. I think this will work. Um, let's hit OK. And let's drag this over here a little because this is where I want my flare. This is going to be the ending position of my flare. And let's put the brightness to around 200. Yep. And now let's let's drag our cursor to around 1.5 seconds yep and let's keyframe our optical flare position go over to like 15 frames and hit you and your keyboard to bring up the keyframe and now let's um, bring our um, optical flare position uh, somewhere over here right at the beginning of our logo okay um, let's select our second keyframe hit the right mouse button and go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease which will make our animation look a little more natural Okay, let's increase the scale a little. Um, let's bring it down to 80, then keyframe it, and go over to the other keyframe, and let's crank it up to something like, uh, well, around 
200 hit you on your keyboard and let's also easy this keyframe um, maybe we should bring it up to something like um, let's type in uh, 250 um, ah, oops wrong frame um, Let's drag this one here over our old frame and now we got it at 250 there. Go over to like 3 seconds and then uh, decrease the scale to 0. Also make sure that this one, this keyframe is easy east. And yep, yeah, this is our optical flare animation so far. Looks pretty good I guess. Now let's close this one here and let's select our um, two layers, our two top layers here and then go to layer and now we want to pre-compose them. Um, I'm just gonna call it logo, uh, move all attributes into the new composition, hit OK. Um, Alright, um, ok let's um, hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale, um, keyframe it and then go all the way back to your first frame um, and let's type in 1500 mm -hmm. okay let's grab our second keyframe and let's also easy ease it and as you can see our logo looks really blurry here but there's a simple trick just go down here to this little um, icon and click it and as you can see our logo is back to normal okay so let's go to our logo layer and hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and keyframe it then go to your very first frame and set it to zero Mm, let's grab these two keyframes and <coughs> sorry, bring them over here a little. Um, let's go back in our logo composition. Um, hit U on your keyboard to bring up your optical flare keyframes, and let's grab this one and bring it over here. Um, um, I'm just doing some minor adjustments here. Um, what I want here is I want the scaling animation to be a little smoother and so for that let's let's click this um, let's bring up the scale by hitting S on your keyboard and uh, let's click this graphical icon here and let's drag this anchor point all the way to the left let's close it uh, let's have a look Mm, I want the scaling animation and the um, optical flare um, ending simultaneously. So let's drag this one over here a little. Let's have a look. Yep. Let's preview this. Um. We're almost there. Um, let's drag this one here back to three seconds. I think that's where it was in the first place. And let's have a look. Um, yeah, I think this looks quite alright. So let's render this out. Go to composition and hit add to render queue. Um, let's see best settings here. Everything looks fine. You can leave everything as it is. Hit OK. Go to lossless. Um, I'm using the H.264 video codec and yep, hit OK. Um, yeah, let's save this on our desktop. I'm just gonna call it logo animation and then hit render. Um, yep, this is it for today. If you liked the tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.